So I'm going to put in a image centered block. Go to edit, edit the image, replace image, choose my GIF, open, and presto, a GIF. You can add GIFs to almost any image block in Rise. You can add an image to your image hotspot. There it is. Let's see what it looks like. And there it is with a scroll button. You can also add a video. So instead, you're going to, to still select the media button. You're going to click embed from web. Here I have a URL copied. I paste my URL. I'm going to press the enter button. Now it's going to process that media. You can choose whether or not to show metadata. I'm going to choose not to show my metadata. Select close. Here it is. And now when my learner comes in, they can select the button and a video will play. You can also add recorded audio. You record your own audio using the Articulate Rise setup. I recommend not doing this because I do not believe that this is a very good recording and I have never been able to get it to work properly. However, you can upload your own file here so that you can have your own audio playing in your image hotspot. The learner will have to press a play button to get that um, audio to begin. So let's select the edit button and see what we can do. So you can have it normal, it says none. You can have it like this it is locked. It means you have to complete the content directly before moving on. This would work well um, with an interactive block in front of it. You can also say you have to complete all blocks before moving on. This would be uh, for a quiz. I use this or if you want to make sure that your learner has selected every interactive feature, you can put this at the end of your course and it will not allow the learner to move on until they have selected all interactive functions. But did you know you can actually edit the language on the continue button? So I'm gonna say to continue to learn more about CSR. Now my learner has an idea of what they're going to learn when they click this continue button. Let's see what it's going to look like when we preview. Here it is. Continue to learn more about CSR. As you can see, in Articulate Rise, the background is either a white color or a gray color. Sometimes you can find this a bit boring and you want to break up the colors in your course. But how do you do that? You're going to press the edit button, go into settings, and here you have background color. You can select the circle by the background color and select any color you wish. You can enter a hex code if you have one. So I really like dark blue, but then I can't see my text. So by highlighting my text, the uh, format text options will appear. I'm gonna change my color to white and voila. What if I want to change a different block color? Well, it's the same for most blocks. You can change your background color. One thing you cannot change the background color for is a process block, which has been discussed in previous episodes. We go into settings, there's no option to change the color. Let's say I want to change my color here for this GIF, and I want it to be black. That looks better, doesn't it? You can add images and videos to your knowledge check questions by simply selecting in the edit screen the camera icon. Upload media, you can add an image or a GIF. Uh, search content library, you can search the Articulate Rise content library. But let's choose embed from the web. Copy and paste in a YouTube link, select enter. And here is a video within my knowledge check. So my students could listen and answer the question if this is classical music or not. Here we have the Articulate Rise course, but I wanna organize these better. So in the add lesson section, I could say um, section one. And at the bottom here, you can see 
shift plus enter to add as a section. So let's try it, shift, enter. And well, I really want that up here. So I'm gonna drag it up here and I need another section. Section two, shift, enter. And I'm gonna put that here. Now my, my sections are divided into two areas. This is great to use if you have a very long course with different overarching topics. That way your learners can see how they're organized and in what order to take them. Let's select the edit button and you're going to, going to want to go to settings. And here you can see your settings. You can change the opacity. Well, let's change it to 50% maybe a little darker let's try 60 now that looks nice you can also edit the background color of your image it is usually set to black and 50 percent but let's see what happens if we do red that's pretty interesting so you can really play with these tools and do some very simple photoshopping to your own image right here in articulate rise